Spending time behind bars is supposed to be punishment for the crime someone has committed. Some prisons take that punishment too far, while others have us raising our eyebrows. Believe it or not, there are some pretty strange prisons out there. Here are 10 prisons you won't believe exist. San Pedro Prison in La Paz, Bolivia lies San Pedro Prison, the largest, most well-known correctional facility in the region. Unlike most prisons, San Pedro inmates have jobs within the prison walls, often live with their families and rent or own their cells. Cells can be the traditional shared cement room or more luxurious rooms complete with full kitchens and private bathrooms, provided they can pay. Cell prices can range upwards of nearly 2,000 Bolivianos. They also must be bought or rented from other inmates as they are not assigned by prison officials. The prison also has food stands, game stations, hairdressers, and even a hotel. Crusty Prison Located in St. Petersburg, Russia, Krusty Prison consists of two cross-shaped buildings with roughly 960 cells meant to house 1,150 inmates. Krusty became seriously overcrowded, holding more than 12,500 inmates at one point. Inmates confined to what was once solitary confinement cells were packed in like sardines 20 at a time so that they had to take turns sleeping on the three-level bunk or floor. In 2006, Vladimir Putin announced a new facility, Krusty 2, which will be completed in 2016. It will contain heated floors, a concert hall, and even a museum. Forteza Medicea Prison the Forteza Medicea restaurant is one of the finest in Volterra, Italy, but it is also contained within a high-security prison. In fact, many of the 150 inmates housed in the prison are serving out life sentences for murder and other heinous crimes. It was in 2006 when the prison's administrators decided to open a restaurant within the prison as a form of rehabilitation for those that wish to learn the craft of Italian fine dining. The idea gained international interest, especially considering all the meals would be prepared and served by the criminals. In order to dine there, patrons must pass a background check and several checkpoints. Despite this inconvenience, people book weeks or months in advance for the chance to dine here. San Antonio Prison in Por La Mar, Venezuela, San Antonio Prison looks like any other penitentiary, at least until you pass through the gates. More than 2,000 inmates are held in San Antonio Prison, mostly for drug trafficking offenses, but it's hardly your typical prison. The smell of marijuana smoke is everywhere. Visiting women in bikinis dance by the pool, and club music blasts as inmates and guests place bets on cockfights. Inmates can have cell phones, laptops, and access to guns. Visitors may be searched on their way in, but not on their way out, so they can be used to smuggle any number of things out of the prison. Basically, San Antonio Prison allows their inmates to do anything they want except leave. Cebu Prison Cebu Provincial Detention and Rehabilitation Center is located in Cebu, Philippines. It's a maximum security prison designated to house 1,600 inmates and is managed by the Philippines Bureau of Corrections. Inmates are given an hour of exercise each day, so in 2005, Byron Garcia, the security advisor to the Cebu government, decided to start a choreographed exercise routine involving dance. When their rendition of Michael Jackson's Thriller was released in 2007, the inmates became online celebrities, with more than 50 million views on YouTube. They are now known as the CPDRC Dancing Inmates and have performed for several public events. There has also been a documentary made about the prison dancers in 2013. Justy Zentrum Leoben Prison when we think of a maximum security prison, we think of cement cells, steel bars, and armed guards roaming the corridors. At Justy Centrum Leoben Prison in Austria, they have decided on a concept of maximum security outside, maximum freedom inside. Sometimes referred to as a five-star prison, the spacious cells, open floor plan, and beautiful courtyards are described as being fancier than most people's homes. The prison currently houses 205 inmates that are allowed to wander the complex freely. Baste Island Prison 
Located 46 miles south of Oslo, Norway, Baste Island is home to a minimum security prison that houses 115 inmates. It was once a prison colony for young boys but has since become the first ecological and most self-sustaining prison in the world. As of 1982, inmates are housed in wooden cottages and work the land surrounding the prison. In their free time, they are allowed access to tennis courts, fishing, a sauna, horseback riding, and cross-country skiing in the winter. Their meals are even provided by a chef, with Boste Prison growing most of its own food in fields worked by the inmates. The prison also runs almost entirely on solar panels. Aranjuez Prison in Spain, there is a prison that allows their inmates to live with their families during their sentences. Aranjuez Prison feels that inmates should be allowed to bond with their young children in their first few years of life. Aside from living within prison grounds, the children lead normal lives, going to school each day, sharing well-lit rooms equipped with cribs and Disney characters, and enjoying the prison's playground. Children are permitted to live with their imprisoned parents until the age of seven. Halden Prison in 2010, the maximum security Halden Prison in Norway became the second largest prison in the country. The prison prefers to focus on life outside of prison and allows its roughly 250 inmates access to music, sports and interaction with unarmed staff to create a sense of community. While some consider it too liberal, there are different sections depending on the crimes inmates have committed. Each cell has a private bathroom, flat screen TV, new furniture, and no bars on the windows to allow for a clear view. Inmates also have access to an enormous library, athletic field, and even a recording studio to produce albums. Sereso Chetumal for more than 10 years, Cerezo Chetumal Prison in Mexico has seen no violence within its walls. It is located two miles south of Chetumal and solves confrontations by encouraging inmates to don boxing gloves and settle it in the ring. Inmates are also provided with an arts and crafts program as well as painting classes that allow them to create unique goods that they can sell to tourists. The prison houses nearly 1,100 inmates convicted of crimes such as robbery and selling drugs. Instead of being mistreated and punished for their crimes, the inmates are taught new skills and trades to allow them a better chance outside the prison walls. Their success rate is quite impressive considering very few offenders return once they are released. Do you feel some of these prisons go too far with their luxuries? Let us know what you thought of this video in the comments and please don't forget to give us a thumbs up and don't forget to come back daily for videos you don't want to miss. Thanks for watching.